In this video, I'm going to look at paper space. Paper space is where we would put our drawing when it's finished, create the template and print it out to the printer. So to start with, I mean what's called model space. And if you don't understand model space yet, I suggest you watch the previous video. Right then, I'm gonna swap over my space and I'm gonna click on the side and I wanna click on the views tab. Accidentally clicked the wrong one then. I'm gonna click on layout one. And it's taken us to a different sheet. You'll notice straight away that the sheet on the screen is now white. This is a suggestion that we're now on paper. We can see that we've got a, a grid on the screen and we've got our iPhone in the center. If I zoom in and out right now, I'm zooming in and out on the piece of paper. The item where you can see the iPhone screen or the iPhone design, this bit I've just selected in blue, is called a viewport. If you click on the viewport, we can then change the size of this viewport. So I want to make it slightly smaller because I want to make some room. We'll come back to making it usable in a second. So clicking off the viewport, back onto the white piece of paper. I've now got this piece of paper and I'm going to draw my template. So you've done a template before on paper. Now we're going to do an electronic template. I'm going to start with draw, I'm going to click rectangle, I'm going to click 0, 0, for the first point, which is the first corner, and I'm going to trace over this dotted line that's on the screen. That indicates the usable border on this piece of paper, and that happens to be 257. Two five seven comma one nine five, which should take me right up to the top corner. This is our usable space now. So what I want to do now is create a template, and we need information like drawing number, revision, name of the author, maybe a logo, just like we did last time. This one's going to be a little bit simpler because we've got a smaller piece of paper. This default size paper is A four. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a rectangle. I'm going to do somewhere down the bottom. And I'm going to do 77 across, comma, zero, which should give me my first point. And then I'm going to do 257 across. Sorry, 257 across. And then 27 up. Enter. You can now see I've created a rectangle at the bottom. You're going to do the same thing, but you're going to follow the instructions on your sheet. And yours may be slightly different or have more detail, because I'm just doing a simple one. Right then, we've got a border. We've got a, a template there for information. I'm now going to click back onto my viewport to get the blue lines. And I'm going to drag my viewport so it's down and takes advantage of the space. And I'm going to drag it from the top up to the top. So it takes advantage of the space. So you might be thinking now that the iPhone is on the screen there and it doesn't look quite right. So I'm going to click onto the viewport by double tapping. So I double tap there. You can see I've got a blue box now. That blue box indicates that we're now working on the drawing rather than the paper. I can now pinch and zoom, and I can arrange my drawing. So I've got my iPhone front view and side view clearly in the center. From this point, we can add dimensions and other details, but that's going to be on another video.